And as far as Nikki, bitch, I'm tired of your raft body built ass, bitch, girl. You need to go jump in a lake and float away, bitch. I'm sick of it, girl. Them wine curls, girl, not the tea, bitch. That body, not the tea. That seal, not the tea, bitch. Them pads, not the tea. Bitch, that surgery, not the tea. Bitch, your shape, not the tea. Bitch, them eyes, not the tea. That nose, not the tea. Them cheeks, not the tea. Bitch, your legs, not the tea. Bitch, your shoes are not the tea. Bitch, you are just not the tea, my girl. And bitch, I never did like you since day one. So yeah, bitch, I am gonna go hard on you, bitch, because I'm sick of it. Okay? Whoa, what's jam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil, and this gonna be a review on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, Season 1, Episode 5. Let's go. Bitch, so the scene opens up with Marley Maul telling Nikki all these fucking lies, bitch, and that hoe just sitting there eating it up, bitch. He telling her that he never fucked Masika, that she only sucked his dick, bitch. Stop it. Bitch, the way they was all laying down in a bed, kissing and hugging and holding and taking selfies and shit, bitch. You can't tell me if she sucked this dick, he didn't fuck her. No, ma'am, bitch. And then that hoe look better than you. So, bitch, you really know he fucked that hoe, bitch. Stop it. With his cross-sided ass, bitch. I can't stand that bitch with that thin-ass mustache, bitch. I'm sick of it. That bitch look like a Nazi, bitch. Why is you even fucking with him? And as far as Nikki, bitch, I'm tired of your raft body built ass, bitch. Girl, you need to go jump in a lake and float away, bitch. I'm sick of it, girl. Them wine curls, girl, not the tea, bitch. That body, not the tea. That seal, not the tea, bitch. Them pads, not the tea. Bitch, that surgery, not the tea. Bitch, your shape, not the tea. Bitch, them eyes, not the tea. That nose, not the tea. Them cheeks, not the tea. Bitch, your legs, not the tea. Bitch, your shoes are not the tea. Bitch, you are just not the tea, my girl. And bitch, I never did like you since day one. So yeah, bitch, I am gonna go hard on you, bitch, because I'm sick of it. Okay? Bitch, so Berg reaches out to Tierra Marie, bitch, to try to get her in the studio and, you know, get these songs going or whatever. Bitch, just to get back at Hazel, bitch, because why all of a sudden, bitch, you want to do work with Tierra Marie? But okay, bitch, whatever. Like, I mean, I know it's about the money, but I just don't see it. So, bitch, Tierra Marie meets him at the studio or whatever, and they just recently was beefed out because Berg went on the radio telling everybody that Ray J... And Tierra fucked around and nobody knew about it. And bitch, you ain't never lying, bitch, because I damn sure ain't know about it, okay? So Tierra addressed that right quick, and then they started talking about the business. So Tierra was like, you know, it's cool or whatever, I'm down for it, but I just need to know when Hazel gets mad, because she's going to get mad, that you not going to back out of it. And he was basically like, child, fuck Hazel. The same thing he been saying all season, bitch. Bitch, so now we at Masika house, bitch. And Hazel and Masika talking or whatever, but bitch, wait. What makes, girl, why would this hoe put them fucking two rope braids to the back in her fucking head, bitch, when she got alopecia all up in here, bitch? Girl, no fucking ma'am, bitch. Then the braids got blind streaks in them, girl. So they start talking about everything that was going on. And Masika was like, girl, I would never fight over no nigga. But the thing about that is, you would never fight over no nigga, but you just was at this whole head, bitch. You was, girl. And you could say it was because she was being disrespectful. But at the end of the day, both of y'all was fighting over a nigga, bitch. Because if it wasn't about that nigga, if it ain't have nothing to do with that nigga, y'all wouldn't have been fighting, bitch. Y'all would have been trying to meet, trying to get along, trying to see what the other one T was, okay? So, come on now. Let's keep it real, bitch. If we're going to keep it 100, let's keep it 100, bitch. Y'all was fighting over a nigga. Y'all was fighting over Marley. So, Nikki meets Tierra at the nail shop, bitch. So, they talking or whatever, and Tierra was like, yeah, girl, because when y'all was doing all that fussing and fighting, I'm like, oh, bitch, watch her nose, you know? Trying to make a joke or whatever, bitch. So Nikki was like, wait, Tierra, how you found out about all that? Like, where all that came from? So Tierra was like, girl, Morgan showed us pictures of it. 
before you got there, girl. Like, pictures of you post-surgery, girl. Like, what's the tea? Nikki was like, oh, really? Okay. So, bitch, then she went to talking about this whole Masika again, bitch, and how Ma only let her suck his dick, and she must have not been good because now he back with her. This hoe is delusional, bitch. This hoe is an airhead, bitch. This hoe have the body of a blimp, bitch, with all the air included, bitch. All the air package all up in here, all up in there. All that seal, bitch. All that seal, girl. All that fucking seal. Rubber. Latex. Plastic. Bitch, I am sick of it, bitch. That whole Nikki is built like a Xbox 360 controller. Sideways, bitch. No ma'am, Miss Nikki, I bitch. I want y'all opinion on this. Do y'all think that mall fuck Masika? Bitch, leave it in the comment section, okay? Because, bitch, I know I'm not crazy, and I know I'm not the only one who feel like this, girl. Ain't no way, bitch. Y'all been together picking out houses and all this, and she heads over hills, bitch, and you ain't even fuck the girl? Stop it. Bitch, I hope April hurry up and have this fucking baby, girl. I really do, bitch, because I'm getting tired of it, bitch. I'm getting tired of seeing her pregnant every week and complaining about the mama. I, bitch, I'm just sick of their whole little storyline, bitch, okay? Like, it's time for something new, girl. Go in and have this baby. But what I do agree with with April is when she told Omarion, bitch, you should have told your mama something, bitch, on the spot. He talking about how you know I didn't tell her, bitch, because I'm sitting right there, bitch. You, I ain't hear you say nothing, bitch, when you said it. And, bitch, you got quiet right there, girl. You should have gave his ass the business, okay? Bitch, and then he was saying, I don't know how it went, bitch, but he shut her down real quick, bitch. And she just shut the fuck up and couldn't say nothing else, girl. I'm like, ooh, bitch. Bitch, so now we at this video shoot for Ray J, girl. So Nikki walks up in there with these supposedly fine-ass strippers. Bitch, them hoes was hit with two sticks, bitch. Bitch, it looked like them hoes came straight out of she-she's, bitch, with bullet wounds, cigarette burns, and stab marks, bitch. No, ma'am, girl. What the fuck she got them old tight-ass hoes from? And, bitch, I'm glad Morgan said something about it, bitch, because Ray J was like, yeah, these hoes fine. Bitch, Ray J don't know a pussy from the hole in the wall, bitch. He'll just fuck anything. No, ma'am, girl. Them hoes was hit, bitch. So, bitch, now Nikki checking this whole Morgan about, like, what Tierra told her. So, bitch, Morgan, like, she admitted to doing it, but, bitch, no. I didn't feel like she stood firm on where she stood, like, on why she showed the picture and all this shit. But, bitch, Nikki was right, bitch. That was two-faced. And, bitch, y'all know I don't like that whole Nikki. But, bitch, if you supposed to be my friend, bitch, why is you pulling up pictures of me before I had my surgery if this how I'm trying to present myself now? You know what I'm saying? Girl, no ma'am, bitch. That whole Morgan really straddles the fence, bitch. Do splits on the fence, okay? No ma'am, girl. I'm sick of it, Morgan, bitch. Them hoes need to pop you, bitch. Your, your Mary Poppins need to be waiting for you at the reunion, girl. Okay? With umbrella in hand, bitch. So, it's her and Nikki going back and forth, bitch. Ray J comes over there to break them two up, and then Ray J jumps on Morgan ass. Like, bitch, I'm in the middle of a shoot. Bitch, don't you know this is time being wasted, money being wasted? So, bitch, now we got Moniz, Masika, and Hazel at this twerk class or whatever. And, bitch, they catching Moniz up on what happened at the ass cap awards and shit. So, bitch, Monice was like, well, you know, one of my friends used to fuck with Berg, bitch. And from what y'all telling me, Berg has not changed not one fucking bit, okay? And, bitch, I'm so glad that hoe took them rope braids out for that scene, bitch. That hoe put her little um, lace front back on, I guess, girl. No, ma'am, bitch, Hazel, I'm not featuring you neither, bitch. I want y'all hoes to get it together, bitch. If y'all gonna be on TV, y'all gotta come with it, bitch. To Hazel. Stay the fuck out of all scenes with Berg, okay? Don't even recall with Berg no more, bitch. Every time you in a scene with Berg, bitch, Berg shits on you and make you look stupid as a motherfucker, okay? Stupid as a motherfucker, because that's just how you was looking after this next scene, bitch. Just don't do no scenes with Berg no more, girl, at all, okay? So, they talking about how he wound up working with Tierra Marie. Now he's saying that Tierra Marie was sent to him by somebody or some shit, girl. And that's how they wound up 
you know, meeting in the studio or whatever. And she just was like, I don't feel like I should have to deal with looking at you help this bitch work on her album. He was like, hold up. I sent your people some tracks, right? She was like, yeah, I just never listened to him. Like, bitch, he made you look so fucking stupid. He like, that's what the fuck you need to be worrying about. And bitch, that is what you need to be worrying about if you trying to get on. Bird got some pretty ass eyes too, bitch. I never just looked into his eyes before, bitch. But he got some hazel looking eyes, girl. Cute. But bitch, that attitude takes all that cuteness and hotness away from Berg, bitch. Bitch, so Omarion talking to his mama or whatever, and he informs his mama that she will not be at the Berg or whatever. Because he talked to the midwife, and the midwife said that it wouldn't be a good idea because then she gonna want to be all in a mix and all this and all that. But girl... His, he was like, well, if you want to apologize to April, you know, to try to smooth things over so you could be there, then, you know, that's fine, too. She was like, well, all right, child, you don't want me there for the birth of your child. Bitch, she really do not like fucking April. And, bitch, you know, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but, bitch, it don't seem like April no bad fucking chick. It really don't. It don't seem like she no gold digging asshole. It don't. It look. It seems like she's a humble all around the way girl next door. Bitch, that should be the type of girl you want your son to be married with. Cause it ain't nothing but hoes and hood rats who are after him, bitch. I'm just saying, moms. Okay, no tea, bitch. So now Morgan getting everything ready for powerhouse or whatever, bitch. And I mean. She talking to Ray J or whatever because she feel like her mama gave her away or some shit when she was younger or she been on her own for most of her life or something like that. And then Ray J and them took her in basically. So she always have like a certain love and respect for Ray J or whatever. But Ray J was like, fuck that. I'm hearing too much shit about Tierra Marie, bitch, and you on my team. You should not be talking about this hoe. I'm like, wait, hold on, bitch. Because when I worked for you from 9 to 5 or whatever that whole I was beat, bitch, no. Bitch, how the fuck you going to tell me who I could converse with outside of work, bitch? What, where they do that at? Bitch, no. I could see it being a conflict of interest, but still, bitch. If, if that's who that girlfriend is, that's that girlfriend. Now, bitch, the scene we all been waiting for, bitch. So, so Maul calls Masika over there, right? So Masika come over there. She was like, I really don't know where this is going, but look, it looked like you like to play games and I'm not really one for playing games or whatever. So I'm, you know what I'm saying? Why am I here or whatever? And he was like, oh, we gonna get to that or whatever. Trying to stall to give Nikki time to walk through the door. So this bitch Nikki puts her key in the door, open the door or whatever, then walks by Ma. Oh, we have company today. Girl, that hoe is so Fake and phony, bitch. I cannot stand Nikki, girl. That hoe is so plastic, bitch. Fake and phony, girl. No ma'am, bitch. I just want, bitch, if I see that hoe in person, bitch, I'm getting the nearest stick pin, and I just want to poke it to see if it's going to pop, bitch. Away. Like, okay, like, is that hoe going to fly away? No ma'am, girl. They talking or whatever. And this bitch, Maul, saying that he didn't fuck the girl. So Masika, like, bitch, I'm not even about to go there with you on that shit. So we never fuck or uh, whatever. He was like, no. She was like, all right, well, if that's what you want to believe, that's what you believe. And if anything, I feel like a nigga going to lie on their dick before a female lie on her pussy. Because if, if anything, a nigga don't have no reputation to look out for. Females have a reputation to look out for. But then again, it is 2014 and bitch, like shit just changing, bitch. Hoes don't even care about their reputation no more, okay? So, bitch... You know, after being cute and catty and all that shit, bitch, they wound up walking. So Masika wound, you know, after being cute, catty and all that other shit, Masika wound up getting up. She was like, you know what? Y'all took ahead of this shit. I ain't even got time, bitch. I ain't about to entertain it. And when she walked, when Nikki walked in there, Masika was looking like, okay, now this some fuck shit. I don't know what the fuck going on. But bitch, I don't want to be a part of it. And I was thinking the same thing. Bitch, this is some fuck shit. Like, girl, out of here. So, bitch, as Masika walking to the door, bitch, this whole Nikki turns around and put, I mean, this whole Nikki, as Masika, as Masika walking out the door, bitch, Nikki is like tapping her, pushing her out the door. 
Masik, a bitch, that was your cue to turn around and beat the fuck out that hoe. Bitch, don't let that hoe touch you. You throwing drinks from words. But when the hoe physically touch you, bitch, you talking about Ma, you better get a, you better get a, fuck that, bitch. I would have popped her and Ma. Bitch, if Ma would have tried to break me or stop me from popping that hoe, bitch, I'm popping your big ass. Fuck that, straight up, okay? No, ma'am, bitch. The time you needed to pop that hoe, bitch, you ain't popper. What the fuck? And basically, that's what happened on this episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Season 1, episode 5, you heard me. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you heard me. And leave a comment. Thumbs up this video and show me that y'all fucking with your boy, you heard me. Thanks for all the love and support, you heard me. All the t-shirts been mailed out. Everybody should be getting their shirts sometime this week, you heard me. Ain't y'all excited? Yeah! Okay, now, I'm your boy, New Orleans Lil, you heard me? Thank y'all for fucking with your boy. Continue to fuck with your boy. Make sure that you tell a friend to bring a friend and share this video, you heard me? It's me, your boy, New Orleans Lil, you heard me? Peace.